Hey guys, it's me Rahul. Hope you guys are doing well. Today I'm going to be sharing some interesting latest WhatsApp features and tricks that you might not know about. I will try to go over the tricks and features as fast as I could without making it boring. So let's get right into it. One of the long awaited features on WhatsApp is group calling. This feature is pretty hidden. You cannot select few people and call them all at once or initiate a call in a group. But you can call a person then you can add other people into that. This works for video calling as well. The quality isn't that bad, it is definitely usable. Nowadays people send audio messages through WhatsApp instead of texting. It is much easier for the sender but the person whom he is sent to have to find headphones and listen to it which is really frustrating. There is a feature in WhatsApp that might be the perfect solution for these situations. When you play an audio message, immediately hold your phone up to your ear which will switch the audio playback to your earpiece so you can listen to it like a call. Since we are on the subject of audio messages, one of the frustrating things in WhatsApp is using the hold to record audio function. If you are recording a long message, there is a chance to release the record button in the middle of that. There is a hidden feature in WhatsApp that will allow you to record audio without holding the record button. Just hold and swipe up and lock the record and when you are done recording, just tap on send. Some of you might know this text format record WhatsApp by using some special symbols. But you don't have to do that to format your text on WhatsApp. Just simply select the text, tap on this three dot menu and here you have all the formatting options. One of the latest features in WhatsApp is the ability to mark a message as read from the notification. When you receive a WhatsApp notification, just simply just expand the notification and tap on mark as read placed just beside the reply button. Recently WhatsApp made huge changes to groups, they have added plenty of features and the feature that I like the most is media visibility. Basically you can choose whether the medias from a group be visible on your gallery or not. To change media visibility open the groups, go to group info, tap on media visibility and you can set it to show or not show media files from that group in your gallery. It's actually a pretty cool feature. If you want to know who you talk to the most on WhatsApp, just go to settings, tap on data and storage usage and tap on storage use, which will give you a list of users and groups in the descending order of the data use, which will give you a clear indication about who you talk to the most on WhatsApp. Network usage is also pretty cool. It shows all your WhatsApp statistics. Previously on WhatsApp, if you want to remove someone as an admin, you had to remove them from the group and have to add back in. Now you can just go to group settings and you can just remove them from the admin list and they will become a member only. Sharing location on WhatsApp is not new but not many people know about this feature called live location. If you use live location, the other person will be able to see your real time location as it updates on a map. It isn't quite real time but you get the point right. Live location will get expired after a certain amount of time so don't need to worry about anything. I don't know whether you have noticed this or not. Previously, if you try to download any older media files from a WhatsApp conversation, it just says something like media not available or something like that because WhatsApp will delete all of the files from their server after like 30 days, I think. But now they have changed that and you can download any undownloaded files from WhatsApp at any time. WhatsApp is currently on the process of testing the picture-in-picture -picture mode on Android. It isn't yet available for users but it will be very similar to iOS. Using picture-in-picture -picture mode, you'll be able to watch YouTube and Facebook and even Instagram videos without leaving WhatsApp. So when you press on a YouTube link on WhatsApp, a pop-up player is gonna appear and it will show you the video. You can watch the video and text at the same time. I'm not a big fan of ringtones, I always put my phone on silent so being able to set custom notifications for individuals as well as groups is really useful. You can set custom notifications for messages as well as calls. If you open up any group or contact info, you can see an option to set custom notification. You need to first enable custom notification, then you can change the tone, the vibration mode, the notification LED color and so on. So that's pretty much it guys, hope you guys liked this video, if you did give this video a big thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys in my next video, goodbye.